the tenth anniversary is going to be the marking uh, of of the uh, second tragedy that is to come. And in this, like I said, we're going to have to uh, endure the negative consequences of this for the rest of our lives. The root of a long promised rail bypass in Lac Megantic still divides the community 10 years after the deadly derailment there. This route will be faster than the one they use right now. So it's going to be more dangerous. There's uh, more, uh, more curves in it. 42 residents received confirmation in June that they will be expropriated by the federal government for the construction of the bypass. It will go through the municipalities of Nantes, Lac Megantic, and Frontenac. The coalition of collateral victims includes 300 residents against the route of the current bypass and those being expropriated. The Canadian taxpayers are paying billions of dollars for a rail bypass that the majority of the population don't want. The three scientific studies showed that 77% of the population of now Megantic and Frontenac opposed the route. They're concerned about the safety and environmental impacts, including effects to the drinking water. They, uh, they just might ruin the water that they're, the, 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 the whole town is drinking, because that's where uh, they take the water just beneath where the train's going to go through. Yolande Boulet Boulanger's farm, which her family has owned since 1933, is among the list of expropriated. She also lost her grandson in the tragedy 10 years ago. She says the train would pass 800 feet from their home. It's full of souvenirs here. My husband was born in this house. We asked for a new home because the vibration will be enormous. It doesn't make sense to be shaken like that day after day. Their land and the others will be expropriated August 1st. They plan to fight it in court, requesting an injunction. I still have hope that someone will have a conscience and a sense of responsibility. The mayor of Lac Megantic says the bypass is necessary and the route has been studied since 2014. We know it's not easy, but the project must move forward to protect the majority of the population. With this route, we distance the train from buildings and the downtown. In a statement, Transport Canada said the Lac Megantic Rail Bypass project and the choice of route were announced in 2018. Since then, several steps, including geotechnical work and environmental studies, have been completed to deepen knowledge and data about the route selected, assess the project's potential impacts, and establish measures to mitigate these impacts. It's been a long process. It's been a longer process than anyone would have liked uh, to start construction. We're hoping to start construction this fall. Uh, on the bypass. Uh, the reality is there are a number of, of uh, um, agricultural uh, lands that we're going to have to cut through. But people will be compensated for that. In Montreal, Tina Teneriello, City News.